If you're shooting videos like this, direct to camera, and you're still using SD cards to record to, let me ask you a question. Why? If you're moving about, you see shooting video, yeah, that is a reason to use SD cards. But when you're presenting like this, sat at your desk, all you're doing, well, you're just making your life hard. You've got to insert the card, format the card. And then when you want to stop and start the recording, you're like constantly having to turn the camera on and off. And when you're done recording, you've now just got a load of files with meaningless names and you have to transfer and you've got to sort all that out. And what's worse, you don't know if it's a good take until you've done all this. And that's why, my friends, I don't use SD cards because there's an easier way. I plug an HDMI lead into my camera and then I attach the other end of the HDMI cable to my computer using a cam link. I use Ecamm to record all my videos. All I do, hit record, and when I'm done, the recording, it's saved to my computer. And I can instantly play it back if I want, just to make sure there's no mistakes. Makes the whole process so much easier. Now, the only downside is, well, Ecamm, it's a Mac only solution. But if you're on a Mac and you're not using Ecamm, you're missing out. Now Ecamm, it doesn't only record, it streams directly to YouTube, Facebook, LinkedIn. You can use it for Zoom calls. It allows you to take a normal live stream and really spice it up. You can use multiple cameras and just switch between them all like that. You can switch to different mics like that. They'll list all your mics in there. You can, you can share your screen like that. You can even drop in videos just like that. Takes it to a whole new level. You can even take boring PowerPoint presentations and instantly take them to a whole new level. And that's why I use Ecamm and it's like super cheap. Now you don't have to take my word for how good Ecamm is because I've put a link below to a free trial so you can see for yourself. And if you wanna see exactly how I connect my camera or cameras up to my computer, then you'll wanna watch this video next.